Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset your iPad without losing any of your data. So with this reset, it's just going to reset the settings themselves, all of your things like photos, videos, apps, music, documents, everything you have on your iPad will still be there, even your Apple account. So let's show you how this is done. So in order to do this reset, first thing is you're going to go into your setting on your iPad. From there on, you want to go to general, and then scroll down here where it says transfer or reset iPhone. We're going to click on that. And we're going to click on the first one. Do not click on the second one. That will delete everything. The first one, it will pop up the menu like this. Now, where we said we want to do it depends on what you're looking to do. If you want to reset everything, all the settings, you just click on reset all settings. When you do reset all settings, things like network related settings will get deleted. Subscriber services will get uh, reset reset of the keyboard the home screen layout and any location privacy settings once i do that reset as you can see here it will not delete any of your data as it says and i click on it and it's going to ask me if i want to do it again and i confirm and it'll start the reset process without losing any of my data on my ipad so as you can see here this is something you want to do especially if you're having any issues or settings are messed up or you don't think the iPad is working the way it should you want to do these resets and keep in mind once you do go back after reconnecting to Wi-Fi or if you had Bluetooth connected devices like AirPods or any other speakers will let you get connected if you had a custom layout you need to change that again and we'll show you once you get to the main screen what that looks like And as you can see here, it changed my wallpaper and then other things as well. But apps and all the photos, videos, everything is still there, just setting themselves. It just got reset. I need to go ahead and connect to things like, again, Wi Fi here. So you need to go ahead and connect to Wi Fi. Things like that will be a need to connect it, but it is a good way to fix any sort of issues that you're having with your iPad. And I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.